let us see how to create a simple WebSocket connection using WS package in Node.js. So here I have got a front end and from here we are going to make a connection to the WebSocket server. And then from the client side we are going to send the messages say M1 and then this message will be sent to the WebSocket server and then the server is going to echo back this message to the client. So let us see how to implement this. So before I explain this front end and uh, network requests, let us go to the server and then see the code. So as I said, I'm using this WS module or WS package. I'm also using this express and HTTP, okay? This modules as well. So I'm starting the express server on port 8080 and then I'm using this middleware to serve the files from the public folder so that we can access that index.html then we are creating the server using HTTP model then on the top of that web server we are making a WebSocket server as well okay server starts running whenever a client connects we are logging that new client has been connected and whenever the server gets the message we are logging it on the server side and then we are sending it back to the client as well when the connection is closed, we are just logging that client disconnected. And here, we are sending a message to the client upon connection, okay? This is the first message that the client is gonna receive. And finally, we are calling this listen method. So on the client side, let us see what is in the index.html. So when the we are loading that page index.html what is happening is that we are connecting to that WebSocket server and we are using this WebSocket constructor so this is a built-in constructor available in the browsers which is used to make the connection to the WebSocket server then we are calling this dot on open and dot on message then we are setting these handlers for the open and uh, message events close events as well and error events as well so whenever the new connection is made to the server we are just sending to the server this particular payload whenever we get a message from the server what we are doing is that reading the message and then printing it on the client side using this document.get element by id now let us go back to the client side code and I'm gonna just refresh this once so as I load this page you can see that in the network tab you will see these two requests local host and then local host so what's happening is that uh, two requests are being sent one uh, to fetch this index.html using HTTP protocol and this particular the second request is basically uh, is used to make the connection to the WebSocket server okay and you can see this symbol these two arrows this indicates that it is a WebSocket request and also in the request URL you will see this WS colon localhost colon 8080 because that is where our WebSocket server is running and over here uh, if you want to monitor the messages that are being sent and received uh, through that socket connection you can click on this messages tab and here it will show all the messages its length and time as well so all this data is available and you can also filter by send receive or you can also filter the messages using the regular expression as well so if you want to send a message to the server let us try to send it and it will appear over here so I'm just gonna send say Sagar and then click on send and you can see that that message was sent to the server and then server has responded back with the same message message length was 38 and the time was that one on the server side you can see these messages are being logged so that's how you can implement the WebSocket server and client in Node.js